Okay, uh, here's a tutorial in how to do a reflection, an image reflection in Corel Draw X3. So what we're gonna achieve here is, is you see this apple here? We've done that one the last tutorial, but now we're gonna achieve this kind of effect, which is the uh, reflection of a uh, of the apple onto the desk itself. Now, just to review, so what we achieved here is we got one we got one two and three objects here right now uh, we already learned about how to power clip an object like cutting it uh, removing its background so I'm not going to explain that but where we get what we're gonna do now is this reflection how do we create that reflection okay so I'll delete that first now the principle in that is first you have to duplicate this, right? So in order to duplicate, click on the object and click on your plus sign in your keyboard. Okay, the one in the right side. Or you can click and then edit, duplicate. You got two objects now here. Now what I'm gonna do here, let me zoom out here. We got two objects here. This is the one that I'm gonna make as a reflection. What you're gonna do here is you grab this node here, this node, okay, and move it down this one okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a uh, like a, a transparency a gradating transparency on this one but since it's a power clip I can't just do it this way see if I do it this way and I click here and move it down it won't do it because it's a power clip right so I'll just undo that so you have to click on the object itself and then you go to effects power clip and you go edit content okay so that is the contents of my power clip now what I'm gonna do here then you can do transparency here so you click on your transparency tool and then click and drag it down okay Okay, you see that? Now you can make transparency on the object itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it click here. So just dragging this black and adjusting the black and the and the white square. So if I'm happy with that, I'll just go finish editing. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this in this side. And of course, the transparency apple should go to the front, right? So I have to click on the apple, and then go to arrange, order, to front, front of page. Okay. Now let's go back to our to our office image. I'm just going to drag this one. Oops. I'm just gonna refresh that. Okay, so click this one, put it here. Okay, then goes this one over here. And then the drop shadow over this side. There you go. It's a reflection of the apple. That's it.